What's up everybody, we've got a pair of Gucci's here. Uh, we're going to clean them up in conditional leather and restore a little bit of that white kind of look to it since they're a little dingy. Check it out. First things first, let's get rid of these laces. We'll try to make them a little cleaner with some uh, products I'll show you how. Still breaking in these parts here. So what this does is help straighten the shoe out, gives us a nice opportunity to have a better look at it and see if there's any dirt in there that we need to clean out. We can also use these plastic shoe trees as well from our shoebinator. couple squirts of the advanced sneaker solution. Mix it up. Get it sudsy. We're going to start off with the soft bristle brush. soap is going to break down any dirt, grime, denim transfer stains. We're going to wipe it off and clean it off real good. Giving it a chance to soak in though. It's not always a bad idea. I like to clean off the fabric first. And by using a nice microfiber cloth, you can actually get it wet as well. And that way you're not going to be scrubbing too hard on the leather, wearing away the finish. A nice soft cloth will ensure that you're being gentle to the leather. That tongue got pretty clean. Scrub your tongue. Then you can come back over the areas that have a lot of built up dirt within those creases. Or areas that had stubborn stains. It's pretty easy though. And 
denim transfer there. A lot of high-end denim will actually transfer and bleed, as they say, bleed uh, the color out of their denim jeans onto the white sneakers. So a lot of time that's what that little bluish color is from. So it's always good to wash your designer denim a couple times before you wear it with your white Gucci's. Little pro tip there. Some of this might actually need a little bit more than what we can do in this video. But if you watch my friend Vic over at the Rejuvenator team, he'll show you how to repaint your shoes. He's pretty talented. Make sure to get in those tough to reach areas really well. So it really helps to take the laces out. What else you can do, and I almost forgot, is to start letting those dirty laces soak in that solution. And it will help to break down some of that dirt. And then you can just go ahead and throw them in the laundry with your other whites and uh, let them get a little cleaner. Or just buy a new pair of laces on Amazon. those laces soak. And we'll start to wipe this puppy down. So this is kind of where the dirt gets trapped behind the lace and that's when you can see a lot of that darker kind of metallic-y dark uh, transfer of color. Sometimes that actually probably happens from these eyelets just rubbing against it. These eyelets are made out of metal, and uh, that could be what's going on there. Let me know your theory. Yeah, they're looking pretty good, though. We'll hit the bottom and then uh, also let some white cream polish soak into the areas that need a little love here. So then now we got a nice clean tongue over here. I did notice there's a little bit more still there. So let's attack that one more time, shall we?
think Johnny Bubbles over at Rejuvenator would be proud of me for doing a good thorough job underneath the tongue. What up, buddy, if you're watching? Pretty good. Probably don't want to scrub any harder, otherwise we're going to start wearing away some of the finish there. So, now, let's utilize some of these plastic shoe trees here. Kind of a one size fits all. Let's see if I got the measurement right here. Ooh, what else we can do is scrub these out, our inserts here. They get a little grimy at the toes there, all that lint collects at the end of the shoe. So you got your adjustable shoe tree in there. What it allows you to do is work with the shoe off the rack, but also just kind of get a closer inspection and then helps to clean the outsole a little easier. So i just put that in. It basically pops down into place like that. So you slide in the first half and then push down the back side. Check this out. Basically, it straightens the shoe out so you can really get in there. So any areas that you missed, you can attack a little harder. Start scrubbing those outsole, or insoles, I always call them outsoles for some reason. But they're inside the shoe. An outsole is this part. Insole is this part. The more you know, even if you say it wrong, it's good to at least know. So now that you can lightly scrub the insoles, get them a little cleaner. You don't have to spend all day on it. Obviously, you're not going to be able to restore any of that color. So move on to the outsole. I'm going to use the stiff bristle brush.
So you may have a little bit of tar and stuff built into the crevices of the shoe. And uh, you're probably not even going to be able to get that out with a hard bristle brush, but you can try if you want. bristle brass brush. It's a little bit more vigorous. It's still, I've seen harder brass than that. And what you're going to want to do is just kind of work on those trouble areas. not going to come out, but it might look a little better if you really spend all day on it. And by using that microfiber towel, you can actually get some of those scuffs out pretty easily. Just use a little elbow grease. Sometimes you got to scrub a little harder, so by resting it on a stiff surface, you can use a little bit more elbow grease there. You know, there's a lot of people that watch on YouTube, and uh, I gotta say, I really appreciate your guys' support. You guys choosing to watch a little bit of what I do, and uh, you know, the, sh the love and the support that you guys share in the comment section really just keeps my energy high, and I thrive off of it. I thrive off all the comments. So just uh, leave a little comment below, whether it's good or bad. I'll laugh at it, I'll smile at it, I'll be inspired by it, so whatever you got to say, I read it. I don't always have time to respond, but I see you. And I appreciate all the love, all the support you guys constantly show me, that's why I continue to create new uh, new experiences with new types of cleaning videos, new types of shoe restoration videos. So keep showing your support because I really appreciate it. Thank you. some dirt built up there. Let's see if we can get that out. So we're using this stiff bristle brush. Say that a few times fast. And by scrubbing it in the direction of the outsole, 
we can get it a little clean and then come back over and wipe it down. So just wipe back over it with the towel here. Get all that dirt out of there. Bye bye dirt. I found another trick. I've always said in my previous videos that Echo, um, Echo Brand Shoes is a Danish shoe company. They make a lot of really awesome shoes with really good products and materials. But they also make a lot of these white sole trendy dress shoe sneaker kind of things uh, with a thermal polyurethane outsole. So basically, basically it's just heated plastic. Um, and I found that the only thing that really cleans those puppies up is a stiff bristle brush with some uh, rubbing alcohol. So that's what I found. If you guys found some of the same experience, uh, whether you have a pair of Echoes and they are hard to clean. Why don't you try a little stiff bristle brush, even a wire bristle brush that's soft enough not to scratch the shoe. Um, that might be a good bet, but let me know if you've tried it in the past. What have you experienced? So now that we got a nice clean shoe, let's clean the outsole just a touch on this puppy here. Now let's put some white polish on there. Not too bad. A little better. So that's just areas that need a little white polish. Let's hook them up. What's in Granny's nylon? White polish. Granny approved.
some of these deep scuffs and scratches and areas that are just kind of worn away it might get a little whiter but basically it's worn down to the finish right there and the only thing that's going to save it is acrylic leather paint which we don't have time for in this video and it takes a whole nother skill set to do and you know I'm still learning with these sneakers I think it's fun because it's kind of where I got my roots with shoe cleaning when I was a young man I uh, used to clean my own shoes in the kitchen sink with a toothbrush and a bar of soap so I think this is kind of bringing me back to where I started you know almost 30 years ago but basically I like to go over those rough worn spots again and uh, just basically try to layer up that white cream polish nourishing the leather and trying to cover up some of those blemishes on the on the toes there Let that soak into the leather and kind of seal up and dry a little bit as it's drying. It creates a nice little finish. Then we can go back over it and buff it out. schmutz
ideally you don't want to get it on the leather you know a white colored polish on green leather never really looks too good but if you do that's just a happy little mistake it's okay you can just wipe it off but you want to really avoid getting white polish on fabric because that is where it gets tricky to clean All right, let's let that cream polish soak into that other one. We'll buff out the right shoe. Man, it's looking better already. You know, these aren't going to be perfect at the end, but it's kind of something you should do. I'd say with your sneakers, if you get caught in a rainstorm, um, if you start to notice some denim transfer, if you start to notice that they're getting dry in these heavily worn areas, it's good to use a good cream on there. But as the color fades, sometimes you need to restore them with a little white cream polish, or even, in the worst case scenario, a little acrylic leather paint. But again, that's a whole other process that you'll have to watch on another channel. But I am mad at you. Gotta spread your love out there, you know? It's a big YouTube world. Roam around a bit, but come home when you've seen enough. We got a nice finish there. You can see it's kind of iridescent. There's some areas that need a little bit more buffing out. But that's it. We're gonna let those dry, those laces dry, and see how dirty they are. They're probably gonna need a load in the laundry. But until then, thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure to see your beautiful faces. Stay shiny, my friends. And we can go back over those other areas with a little bit more delicate cream. Make sure it's nice and hydrated in these drier climates. I gotta say, I've got some of the best fans on YouTube, hands down. Oh wait, what happened to my hand? It's down, oh my god, send help. Where's the door? gold, as they say in the industry. Renovatoire. It's a really soft, delicate cream. It's got a bit of mink oil in it. Will help preserve the leather. Make sure it doesn't dry out and crack. Let that dry. Hit the other one. I don't know 
if you guys notice my socks in this video, but sometimes when I get dressed for the day, I, when I know what day it is, it helps me to remember which day it is when I wear my Tiger Tuesday socks. So, filming this on a Tuesday, and, uh, you know, that's how I, that's how I roll. I don't know about you guys. How do you remember what day it is when you're working so hard? Look at that Gucci shine. That's what's up. Now that leather's looking a little healthier, you can always go back over it as needed on some trouble areas that uh, just seem to need a little bit more white to restore to it. And some of these loose threads, if you're skilled enough, you can take a little flame, singe that. I don't always recommend that, but if you're feeling daring or lucky, go for it. Make my day. Been real. As always, we'll see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the content in these videos. If you don't, let me know. I know there's a lot of shoe guys popping up on YouTube nowadays, so I really appreciate the love. Uh, basically, keep making these videos as long as you show me the support, so appreciate it. A little better. We'll see you next time. Thank you.